So these are the beautiful porgy fish. I love some porgy fish. So I have five here. I would say medium size. I have some yellow corn meal. I have all purpose flour, cayenne pepper, black pepper, garlic powder, I double seasoning, onion powder, and oregano okay so let's get started with cutting the fish i like to remove the head but you are welcome to leave it on it's all up to you your choice make the recipe yours okay i like cutting up the heads because i like to use them to make broth out of them for other dishes all right, so here I like to butterfly my fish. This is the way I like to do it. Again, you cut your fish how you want it. You want to leave it um, whole, you could leave it whole. I like to butterfly this fish, okay? When I'm frying it, I like to butterfly it so it could have that nice crispiness. As you can see, this is how I did it. Get yourself some nice sharp um, kitchen scissors. When you're dealing with fish, I like using a lot of scissors. Um, it helps you like, you know, as you could see with the head, it wasn't really no problem taking it off with the scissor. All right. And I also made those cuts on the side of the outside. So when we season that fish like all oh, that seasoning will get sucked up on it <laughs> all right guys so i'm gonna show you one more uh how to butterfly it make sure your knife is sharp so you could cut right through it but also be very 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 careful guys we don't want no injuries here no injuries and this fish came out super delicious <laughs> So just stay tuned and at the end, you will see my seven-year-old grandson I'm visiting, um, giving his review on the fish. Uh, my daughter and my grandson, they're pesterians, so they only eat seafood and vegetarian food. So you will only see the him tasting like the seafood because he doesn't eat any meat. So here I am seasoning my fish. Now guys, with the seasoning part, like I always say, add as much as you want of the seasoning that doesn't have any salt. Um, and the one that have salt, just be very modest to it. Um, there is no measurement for this. I pretty much season inside of the fish and the outside of the fish with the same seasoning. Again, I'm modest with the one that has the salt. In this case, the only one that has salt in it is the adobo. The rest of the seasoning doesn't. So you could add as much as you like of the one that doesn't have any salt in it, right? And, and if you don't like any of these seasonings, you could leave some out. It's all preference. Like I always say, I'm just showing you one of the ways I do things. So here I'm measuring the flour I'm gonna season. I'm gonna put two cups of the ye uh, yellow corn milk and one cup of the all-purpose flour. Now here I'm seasoning the flour with the same seasoning I use for the fish. And the same advice as I'm giving you, make sure that the one that has salt, you be moderate with, okay? And while we are sitting in this flower, guys, do me a favor. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe. 
and also that notification button that's gonna let you know every time I upload new videos, which is every Friday and Sunday, except holiday weeks. Okay, guys, I will be bringing you a lot of international food, desserts, and drinks. And I appreciate the support. I appreciate you stopping by. So here I am starting to bread. As you could see, this is a, a, a dry um, breading. But I promise you that breading will stay on that fish. Okay. So here what I like to do, I am breading it. And you're going to see me pressing it down to make so, sure that that flour like stick to it. And I will continue to do the same process to all the fish, making sure that every little corner of it is covered. I like to put it on the side and let it rest until I'm done with the rest of the fish before I fry it. It gives that um, flour more time to suck in into the fish. So as you can see, I'm making sure that I cover every corner of the fish. <laughs> All right. And I'm telling you guys, you are going to enjoy. If you're from up north, New Jersey, New York, you know about porgy fish. I mean, those are like the best um, fish sandwich up north. You know, if you ever visit up north, find out where they make some good porgy um, fish. It is delicious, delicious. So here, I even though I already breaded it, before I put it in the flour, I try to uh, bread it one more time. I press it down, but I make sure I shake that fish pretty good before I drop it in that oil. All right. And here I'm laying down. Um, here I had heat up the oil. It was a little hot, too hot. Um, so I went ahead and I lowered the fire um, to uh, medium high, not on high. And as you can see, it was cooking pretty quickly. So I like to cook it on medium high until almost the end. When I'm about to remove it, the, the last minute, then I cramp up the oil. I mean the, the heat, I'm sorry. Um, and I just let it finish cooking for the last minute on higher heat. Okay. So here I'm turning it. That's the first batch. I will be laying another batch and you will see how it will cook a um, little slower. Because you want your fish nice and crispy, but you also want it well cooked in the inside. Even though fish doesn't take that long to cook. But look at that beauty, guy. Look at that beauty. <laughs> and guys, also, please leave me some comments below when you watch the videos. I love to hear from you. I love to hear your opinion. If you have suggestion of any recipes that you like and you would like for me to make, please comment below. I would love, love, love to hear from you. Okay, as you can see, uh, when people leave me comments, I do my best to answer all my comments because I really would like to um, have communication with you guys. Okay, let me, and we do have a little community here and we could share thoughts and I would um, do my best if you um, ask for a recipe to make it happen for you, okay? So don't don't be shy and go ahead and you know give me your comments. But this is the first batch. It's, it's well cooked. It's nice and crispy. I'm telling you, and well, well, well seasoned. <laughs> well seasoned. All right. So here, this is uh, my second batch. I like to put the first fish, let it cook a little bit. Um, one side then i turn it and then i like to add the second one for the most part as you can see it's cooking a little slower because i had lower my fire so each each side guys i think a total of three to four minutes 
on each side it all depends on your stove if you have a gas stove or electric stove okay and um you you know your stove so it all depends you know how your stove um work okay and just keep an eye on it look at that beautiful 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 fish you see that flower it stays stuck on it look at the flower so this is the final product and i'm gonna go ahead and let my seven year old grandson give you the review enjoy okay roman this is roman play the fish with some pasta and cheese on it what do you think about this fish this one is called porgy it is good it's good it's good uh -huh. it has bones so you gotta be careful i always found one yeah so what do you think about the seasoning i haven't really tasted it but the note I do taste is I don't know what that taste was. It kind of felt like a lemon. Lemon? Like a lemon salt. I didn't put lemon on this one this time. Well, it feels like it. Um, lemon salt. You probably tasting the black pepper. Mm -mm. No, it doesn't taste like it. Mm -mm. It's killing that fish. So, would you recommend it? It tastes so good. Started. Well, let's see what my mom would think. She don't want to be in the video. Mom, just say what you think. Hmm? Say what you think about it. It's from Dilly 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 Lumptious. 